Okay, after knowing such beautiful interview with our speaker and, and student from the audience, we are now here with the person who wrote the theme song. And I know that you're interesting because that's a beautiful song, isn't it? That's a song with such beautiful words. And that's why here, welcome, uh, we welcome you because we want to know about your inspiration about this song. What inspired you to write such a uh, beautiful song? So, first of all, um, the inspiration was really being astray from the Lord. So, it it reflected in the, the lyrics of the song. I know everyone, not only me, is experiencing this in our spiritual connection with God and spiritual relationship. Um, we have been astray for so long. We're so lost and confused. And that's what I was struggling as well, as reflected in the song. And then as we go to the chorus, we, we could see there how the journey of us, a person in this world, would really go back. We would really go back to Jesus when we remember that Jesus is here all, around, all along with us. He's really there for us that even if we find ourselves um, lost or have gone the wrong path, there are these signs from Him that would lead us back to Him. That's why lead me back to Him. Thank you so much. And it says, He will sail with me, so I'm not afraid. It says that I will have I've directed my path again to Him. I change the way I'm going. The shape is changed, okay? So for the last question, how long did you take to write this song? As far as I can remember, um, this was an, a task assigned when we were planning um, the week of prayer. But I wasn't really informed because I was the one in charge for the stage. So I did a thought and I did not expect that I would be the one who would write the lyrics but it's actually i think two weeks prior to the month of of the week of prayer so um two weeks september yeah the last week i think i think we were having an exams at that point and um, and the lyrics have gone so many revisions because i was not yet in the mood for not really in the mood i just have a lot to think about like for the exams and the requirements and i i cram at first the first draft of the lyrics but then when i really prayed to god because i i wanted him to really um really consume my my you know that creativity or the mind to really construct the lyrics according to what he wants to be heard from I mean to the message to be heard so that was the time that I really prayed to God and really asked for his guidance because I really cannot write this lyrics without him and this is just last yeah I mean yesterday was just the time that it sinked into me in, uh, that yeah but then I really put this um, recognition to the Lord because it's not mine and also to our English um, teachers um, for me Mam Flores for thank you for guiding me with the English corrections and grammars and also to our president Arisalti thank you so much Paul, for guiding for our for this lyrics for the final revision without them Paul, I cannot and also without the Lord, I cannot write these lyrics. Indeed, God is a powerful God. In spite of the crumbing revisions, God will use different people to help a charis or to compose that lyrics uh, with this. Uh, and now we are hearing and uh, singing this song because God is with her and God is with us. Thank you, Miss Charis. I. Thank you. Thank you, babe. So also without um, our 
a music arranger from the music department, Glenn De Leon. We wouldn't have this wonderful tune to the lyrics that I have wrote. He really, um, he really also put an effort in putting this song into a complete song that everyone is singing in the whole duration of our week of prayer. So thank you so much, Glenn, for putting this music into the lyrics of the song.